All right, Eric. All right, after days after clashes, federal agents backing down this weekend, releasing the cattle and withdrawing from the Bundy family ranch. While the standoff may be winding down, new reports show Senator Harry Reid might be connected. Joining us right now, live from Bundy Ranch in the state of Nevada, is Fox News legal analyst Bob Massey. Bob, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Elizabeth and Eric. Um, I'm out here by the Bundy Ranch, about two miles from it. And as Eric just said, the present director of the Bureau of Land Management is Harry Reid's former political advisor. And it's been reported, whether it's true or not, one of the things that the ranchers have said, and I, I interviewed Ryan, who is the son of Mr. Bundy, his sister Susan, that they believe that there's plans out here for some solar energy projects that the Obama administration has, in fact, uh, basically endorsed. There's one at State Line in Nevada. There's one in San Bernardino. And it's also been reported, whether it's true or not, that S Senator Harry Reid, when he went to China, made some kind of deal with the Chinese uh, manufacturer over there to actually put in the solar plants over here in the state of Nevada and in California and Utah. Whether it's true or not, we have to wait to see, but there's no question, I will tell you this, being here since 1974, anything that happens in Nevada, Harry Reid's behind it one way or the other. Okay, well, well, we have a uh, longtime former policy advisor, Neil Corns, uh, which everybody's looking at there, Bob. But is this a state issue or a federal issue? Do, do they have a case here? <coughs> That's what, that's what uh, the Bundys feel, Elizabeth. They feel that this property is owned by the state of Nevada, but the Bureau of Land Management <clears throat> manages this property. So the question's going to be really who should have, if you will, jurisdiction over. Well, a federal judge, I must tell you, uh, Lloyd George, issued a, a, a order back in July of last year basically saying, look, we believe that the Bundys are basically trespassing on this property and issued an injunction saying you've got to take the cattle off and only gave them 45 days. But basically the Bundys basically have stood ground and said, wait a second, we are willing to pay grazing fees. We want to pay grazing fees, but we will pay grazing fees to the state of Nevada, to Clark County. Clark, Clark County is basically saying we cannot accept these grazing fees because this is managed by the Bureau of Land Management. So you have this conflict between the federal government, if you will, and the state, and they want the governor of our state to stand on state sovereignty and say, look, we have to be independent, we have to stand on our fundamental rights. And the other thing that's sort of strange, this family has been grazing cattle since 1877. They're making a big issue about the tortoise issue. They, I talked to them over the weekend, they said, wait a second, the cattle has been grazing here, it's never affected the tortoise, which was, of course, endangered out here in the desert. And as a result, this is nothing more than an excuse for the federal government and the BLM not only to take over this land, right. but other land in the West. And as a result, it's become more controversial. And, and Bob, let's stay on that tortoise for just one second. There, there's a big solar power mm -hmm. plant, I think Google put it up, in the same desert or, or you know, a few miles away, but they moved the tortoises. Yep. So is it seen that, that, that this endangered species tortoise is being used kind of as a scapegoat or as a reason to get the, 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 um, the Bundys to, to pay up their million dollars that they owe? Absolutely. Very good point, Eric. As a matter of fact, the one that's at State Line, Nevada, they did move tortoises from there to another part of the state. They're using it as an excuse. As a matter of fact, uh, even in the federal judge ruling, he started talking about, you know, the safety issues, the fact about the tortoise and, you know, those type of issues. But the Bundys believe that this is a move that BLM is slowly taking over. And now that Harry Reid's guy is in control, this is a planned, premeditated thing to have control of the ranchers. And listen, this is how these people make their living, Eric. Sure. They basically said in the springtime, which is the time when they have the most profit as cattle ranchers, their cattle was taken away. So they've already been impacted financially by removing the cattle, even though it's returned. And this fight is far from over, believe me. Well, and a lot of people looking in, Bob, feel like the feds really overreacted. So it's uh, three o'clock in the morning out there in the desert where you're standing. What are they expecting to happen there today? Well, right now we're not sure, uh, Steve, because at this point in time, although there's still protesters here, because the BLM has made the statement this is not over yet, 
They're, I guarantee you these people aren't going anywhere. They're going to stand their ground. We're going to talk later on in the show what possibly is going to happen. But right now, I think everybody is standing ground. Matter of fact, I talked to my cameraman who was here over the weekend also. So you know what? It was a tense situation on Saturday. Yeah. If somebody would have would have dropped a, a bottle, something that sounded like a gunshot, it probably could have got ugly. So they did back down because of safety reasons. All right, uh, Bob Massey, out in the dark, 309 near the Bundy <laughs> Ranch. Bob, thank you very much for putting it all into perspective.